Central to exploring the amazing field of plasma physics is a good high voltage supply. Most of the time, these can be really expensive or large and dangerous, but there's an alternative. This little flyback power source can produce well over 15,000 volts, is powered by batteries, and can fit in the palm of your hand. Subscribers definitely asked for it, so this is your official handheld high voltage supply. Hey, I'm Jay, you're watching Plasma Channel. I'm not kidding when I say this video was requested. In the mornings, I read your comments, and after my last video went out, the most dominating request from all of Plasma Nation was a video on a mini high voltage supply. You were persistent. Well, Plasma Nation's spoken, so let's get straight to the build so that you can get straight to the experimenting. The goal is to copy what I used in my previous video, so we're gonna do just that. Now at this point, only one thing stands between you and your ability to start studying plasma physics, and that's the flyback transformer itself. These can be found online for fairly cheap from a couple different websites, I'll leave a link down below. But if you want the mini flyback that I'm using, go to a thrift store and find yourself one of those miniature battery powered TVs. You can sacrifice it for the transformer inside. You might notice there's about a dozen pins coming out of the bottom of it. Don't have a heart attack, I already had one for you and figured out which pins you need to use for this circuit. Core facing up, the second and the fourth pins are going to be your primary, and the first and third is going to be the feedback coil. If you're not able to find this transformer or one even that's similar to it, don't worry, there's a solution and it involves resistance. Using your multimeter, take your transformer and find two pins that lead to a really low resistance, usually less than an ohm. That'll be your primary coil. Look for a second set of pins with equally low resistance, if not a little bit higher, and that will be your feedback coil. Next up, drill holes in the prototyping board so that it matches the pinout of the transformer. Popping the transformer into place, the pins stick out the bottom, which is perfect for soldering. Now the wiring follows this schematic, and it's actually pretty straightforward, but keep in mind you can't compress this circuit too much because the high voltage from the transformer will want to jump over to the other components and destroy them. Noodles thinks my soldering job is sloppy, but this is how it should look. This is the negative and positive input, and this guy right here is the high voltage ground. Adding resilience, bolts can be used as endpoint connections for all of the wires, and this is really more of a personal preference, but I mean, look at this, this looks really good. Sweet, the build's complete, and turning it on is as easy as giving it 12 to 15 volts DC, maximum of 18, but you're going to burn out eventually. And you've got your high voltage. Adding a base for stability actually makes a huge difference and you can see from the four different angles that this sucker is built to last. But before turning this on, remember to be safe and use the one hand rule at all times. It saves lives. It's the perfect power source. It's really powerful, it's portable, and it fits in the palm of your hand. It's so cute. As always, I'd love to know your thoughts on this project, so leave a comment down below. I do read most of the comments. Also, thank you to all the Patreons who continue to support my work, and thank you for watching. Thanks for stopping by, and don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to Plasma Channel. I post to other social media, and feel free to check out our various other episodes. With science every two weeks, you stay classy.